Macedonia in English. Just about everything you want to know. New Year celebrations around Macedonia. The New Year celebration at the Macedonia Square in Skopje proceeded in a joyful atmosphere with a lot of music and the traditional spectacular firework. The New Year concert began at 8 p.m. and lasted till the early morning hours. At midnight sharp, the sky over Skopje was lit by a spectacular firework. Similar celebrations were organized in other towns in Macedonia. Clinics report on New Year's Eve injuries. In the course of New Year's Eve, clinics in Macedonia have registered two victims in traffic accidents around 30 cases of alcohol poisoning and several injured in fights or as a result of use of firecrackers. Around 30 intoxicated persons had been admitted at the clinic of toxicology, the youngest patient being 40 years of age, said Andon Chibishev, director of the toxicology clinic. The urgent center has admitted 28 persons, three of whom suffered injuries from firecrackers, Three were hurt in fights while 18 in traffic accidents. The emergency services have treated 69 patients. Of them, two have been hospitalized with head concussions and four with injuries from firecrackers. Five were hurt in fights and seven in traffic accidents, said Yasminka Chabukovska, director of the St. Naum of Ohrid Clinic for Surgical Illnesses. President Ivanov visits army barracks in Prilep. President and Supreme Commander of Armed Forces George Ivanov visited Tuesday the Prilep-based army barracks Mir Chaatsev, traditionally spending the first day of the year with Macedonian army soldiers. The Prilep garrison has reopened this year, with President Ivanov hoping it would contribute to the town's development. Our army meets NATO requirements and we hope that one day Macedonia get what it deserves, alliance membership, said President Ivanov. Aram Chief of Staff Major General Goran Chakotesky said the reopening of the Prilep Army Barracks was in line with Aram's transformation. The Prilep Army Barracks give strategic depth to defense and troops deployment. Moreover, the army barracks will hopefully improve the town's economic perspective, said Koteski. Defense Minister Besimi extends New Year greetings to Aramu peacekeepers. Defense Minister Fatmir Besimi extended Tuesday via video link New Year greetings to peacekeepers in East of Afghanistan, Bosnia and Herzegovina and Lebanon and all Macedonian citizens wishing them joy, success, prosperity and peace. Troops deployed in the three peacekeeping missions told Minister Besimi they are in excellent health, whereas their moral and preparedness are at the highest level. The Macedonian army operates in a world of globalization, where borders are measured through the common values. The borders that Aramo protects and defends are peace, stability and democracy, said Besimi. His New Year's wish is that 2030 is a year of peace and stability, mutual understanding. I wish that the Republic of Macedonia makes even bigger steps forward in the Euro-Atlantic integration process, added Besimi. MOI on journalists complained on Parliament incidents. The Ministry of Interior Sector for Internal Control and Professional Standards concluded that the complaint submitted by the Association of Journalists of Republic of Macedonia for the unlawful and unprofessional conduct of police officers during the incidents on 24 December 2012 was unfounded. Commenting the decision, Minister Gordana and Kuloska said that she valued the work of the journalists and hoped for a continuation of the negotiations between the journalists and the government representatives for creating better media environment. I value the work of the journalists, since you, the same as we, are most often in places of potential conflict and risk, but both you and we have to perform our work and, if possible, even help each other," stated Jankulovsk. Triple murder in Kiselavoda municipality. 
Skopje local Marta Perin has been identified as the second victim that Kirill Ristevski shot in the Opel Astra car. According to police information, Ristevski first killed his 27-year-old mistress in his own car and afterward his fiancée in the flat Violeta Talevska, where the couple lived with Kirill's grandmother. Unofficially, the motive of the tragedy that ended with the suicide of the killer was a love triangle. Macedonia in English. Just about everything you want to know.